Today, we're gonna make some wavy text here in Illustrator. First, let's select the type tool. I'm gonna type in the letter R, for example. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. And I'm gonna go with the Neue Haas Grotesque Pro Black Italic. I right click on the text, create outlines, and I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna swap it from a field to stroke with this arrow. Click on the stroke, so it's gonna be on the top. I'm gonna select the line tool, press and hold shift, create a line like this. And we're gonna go to the effects, distort and transform zigzag. I'm gonna decrease the ridge per segment to two, switch it to smooth and increase the size, something like this, click okay. Go to object, expand appearance. And I'm gonna go to the stroke, increase the stroke thickness. And let's go to the stroke settings. And we're gonna change up the stroke profile to width profile number two. And from here, I'm gonna make four copies, press and hold Alt, drag it down, also press Shift, press Control D and Control D again to create four copies. Now I'm gonna recolor them one by one. For this one, I'm gonna go with some magenta. The second one is gonna be some blue. Third one, some green. And last one, yellow. Great, from here, let's select all the waves. Let's go to the object, go to blend and select make. Let's go and double click on the blend tool, select specify steps, increase the numbers. I'm gonna go and increase it to eight right now, click okay. Now I'm gonna select the line tool again. I'm gonna create a crossing line like this. Doesn't need to be perfect. I'm also gonna recolor it black so you can see it. And I'm gonna select the waves and the lines as well. Let's go to the object, blend and select replace spine. And there you go. From here, you also can double click on one of these waves. For example, I'm gonna select the purple. Let's select it again. And you can decrease the stroke thickness now. So we're gonna customize these lines a little bit. I'm gonna select the green and decrease it again. I'm gonna go with five. And I'm gonna select the yellow and increase it, 22. Double click release, and I'm gonna bring the letter into the center of this composition. But as you can see, it's at the bottom of the wave, but we're gonna need to put it on the front. So I'm gonna right click on the letter, arrange, bring to front, and I'm gonna scale it and arrange it like that. Let's select both of these, right click, and click on make clipping mask. And look at that. You also can customize this line if you want. You can double click on it and double click again and select the line. And I'm gonna select the direct section tool and just select this path. And I'm gonna bring it like that. And it's gonna customize it even more. And from here, I'm gonna double click somewhere here and it's gonna release. I also can double click, select all the composition with the waves and just reposition however I like. You also can rotate it from here and look at that. And this is how I make this wavy text effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.